Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to another project video. In this video I'll be teaching you how to ingest data from your Postgres using Postgres CDC Flink connector and ingest data into your transactional data lake on S3 using Apache Flink, everything using Python, doing it locally on your computer. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. And in case if you miss any steps, I have a complete guide on LinkedIn which shows a step-by-step -step approach. So you can visit my um, blog where everything is described in, uh, in a very nice way. So make sure uh, to check out uh, this blog which has all the steps uh, given in detail. Also the notebook and the code uh, that we're going to do is also given uh, on my blog section. So the first step is we need a Postgres uh, database to play with. So I'm going to spin up a Postgres using a Docker Compose file. Here you can see the Docker Compose file. I'm going to say Docker Compose up hyphen hyphen build. And this should spin up my Postgres uh, database. Next step is we need to create a table called shipment and we'll insert some fake data so we can play with. So the commands could be found over here. This one right here will create a table called shipment with these particular columns. After that, we need to set uh, that table replica identity to full. We insert some dummy data into that and then we're going to set uh, the walls level to logical. These are important. You can execute this uh, commands on a PG admin tool. So as you can see, select star from public shipments. I have some fake data to play with. So now I'll be teaching you the Apache Flink uh, part where I'll be showing you how to read uh, the change data capture from the shipment table in Postgres and then write it into uh, S3 as a hoodie transaction data lake. Now let's begin the lab. Uh, so uh, first make sure you set these environment variables, okay? And now let's take a look at the Flink code. Over here we create a table environment. We do that in the streaming mode, pretty, pretty straightforward. Then we are loading these jar files, uh, these jar files. These jar files are uh, Flink F S3 FS Hadoop. Uh, Hoodie Flink 1.16 bundle uh, for Apache Hoodie 0.13.1. We are using a Flink uh, connector for JDBC, uh, Postgres uh, connector, and then Postgres CDC connector. These are all the jar files that we would need for the project. After that, um, again, all these jar files are in my current working directory. We set the um, a key called pipeline.jar, and the value is uh, the file path to those jar file uh, separated by semicolon. After that, we set up the execution checkpoint interval to 5000. And now let's take a look at the, at the source part. Now remember in Postgres, we have a table called shipment. I am simply defining the schema over here. I'm using the connector called Postgres CDC, host as localhost, port as 5432, username as Postgres, password as Postgres, database as Postgres, the schema name is public, um, then the table name is shipment, slot name, you can pretty much put anything that you like. Once that is done, we execute that. So table environment.execute SQL. So this is gonna create a source. Again, in Flink, uh, we have and you know a source and a sync. Source is something where you read the data from. Sync is where you will probably write the data, right? So this is our source. We're gonna read uh, the CDC events. And then what we do is pretty straightforward. We create a sync, uh, which is an Apache hoodie sync. As you can see, these are the columns and we define the connector type as hoodie, table type as merge and read, and this is the path to the transactional data lake. Make sure to use S3A and not S3 over here, since we are using a Flink uh, S3FS Hadoop jar, okay? Now, once we have basically uh, these jar, uh, so let me quickly execute them. So I'm gonna execute this cell. I'm gonna create a source over here. I'm gonna create a sync over here. And then what well, all we need to do is what we're doing is we're saying insert into shipment hoodie sync. So we're saying, I would like to insert data into this particular sync, which is uh, on S3, which we are defining and read the data from these. So which means we are reading the data, the change data capture from Postgres, uh, right? And we are writing that into the hoodie transactional data like on S3. So let me run this cell uh, now. So now we can run this command. Before that, you know, again, as you can see, my S3 directory is empty. I don't have anything, right? So now all we are doing is we are saying, hey, insert into shipment hoodie sync. So we made a sync over here, right? A connector hoodie, hoodie sync, right? And we have a source connector, right? Are we using Postgres CDC connector? This is our source, right? So I'm saying read from this and then write into the this particular uh, sync, okay? Uh, so that's all we are doing, right? So insert into shipment hoodie sync. These are the columns in which I want to insert and read these columns from this particular source. 
All right, so let's execute this. Uh, now the job is in the running state, as you can see. Now, usually this takes about 20 to 30 seconds. And um, after that, you will soon see, uh, you know, Huri Meradera, uh, you know, and those uh, base file being created. So back on my S3, uh, if I simply zoom in a little bit and if I refresh, uh, so far I do not see any, oh, here you go. So you can see temp 100 shipment. I see the hoodie folder and I see uh, the hoodie metadata. So looks like it's working fine. Now we just need to be a little patient. Uh, again, this job will take about a couple of, you know, 30, 40 seconds. And let me pause the video and resume once I see some uh, data files on S3. Oh, actually, yeah, I do see some um, partitions being created. As you can see, hoodie metadata and these log files, right? Makes sense. So yeah, this is how you can basically uh, work with uh, Apache Flink Python. Uh, you can read data from your Postgres table using the Postgres CDC connector, and then you can write it into a transactional data like on S3 using uh, Flink 1.16 Kodi jar and uh, Flink FS S3 Hadoop jar file. So I hope these videos are helpful. Um, again, uh, the entire source code and a step-by-step -step guide is also available both on my LinkedIn and my blog post. So make sure to check that out. If you have any further questions, let me know your question in the comment section. Uh, in the next video, I'll try to do something more fun, right? Maybe uh, let's join some data and you know aggregate everything in Flink and then probably uh, you know uh, dump it into transactional data like, uh, like S3, right? Uh, later on in the videos, we will try, uh, you know, Kafka and other things out. So thank you so much. And I'm going to see you in the next videos.